Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 24, and this is war number four, and we're going up against an alliance called Defenders New Generation MN. All right, so I've already scouted out my path, and I will start recording my initial scouting uh, for you guys that might be interested in my thought processes as I'm looking over my path before I select my team. All right, so... I take path three in section one, and as you can see here, there's no defender on that first node, and then we've got to fight this Hell's Kitchen Daredevil. Uh, he is annoying, and when I see him, I just kind of groan because he caught me so many times because I have to get used to his animations and his new abilities. So ingrained in me, is how to fight him as I've done for years, and now I have to switch it up. All right, so I went in with uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant, and basically he likes to shrug things off. You can't rely on your parry stun sticking. Uh, and I also noticed something really odd, uh, more than me just getting hit there, uh, but it seemed like he only purifies it right when I attacked. It's weird, you know, he'll purify it anyway, but with like Agent Venom, I could parry and wait because there's a chance that he won't purify. And if he doesn't purify it right away, then he's not going to purify it. So if you wait just a little bit, then you can attack, but not with him. I'll parry, I'll wait a little bit, I'll attack, he'll purify and counter like almost instantaneously. It, it's really odd, but you saw we got him down without too much difficulty. We did get caught uh, once. That special one of his is really annoying. Uh, it, it's a, what is it, a seven hit special? But anyway, now we're gonna fight a Korg on Mixmaster. And Omega Red is beautiful for this fight. What makes this fight difficult for me is me. All right, uh, I've, I've done a solo, I've gotten wrecked. It's like hit or miss, okay? So basically what I'm gonna do here, as you see, is do medium light. And when I get his rock charges down, then I might be able to parry and, and maybe try to get the spores to stick or something. You know, here we go, shield shattered. So I can parry, do a heavy, lock those uh, spore charges on them, okay? And you see here, I'm just um, parrying, doing some heavies. This time I did a medium light into a special two, do a little bit more damage and we're doing good. Um, he's almost half health. So I'm figuring if I can just maintain this. Now, the problem that I often have is I'll lose focus right in the middle of the fight and I will go on automatic and it only takes once or twice for that to happen here. You know, normally once I get the rock shield down, that's the time I can go to work. And if you try to do that, doing full five hit combos, you're gonna get a falter, he's gonna counter and wreck you. It's happened to me more than once. So I'm really trying to pay attention. You saw that I popped an invulnerability boost. Just in case I did that, I might still be able to, you know, get the guy down. All right. So, so far I'm doing all right. He's almost dead here and I'm getting excited now. Boom. Got him down. So happy. So happy with this. Uh, I, I don't like fighting uh, Mixmaster. I don't like fighting Tunnel Vision. I don't like fighting... Uh, reverse controls, the delirium, anything that makes me have to think almost the opposite of the way that I normally think when I fight, it, it, I don't do very well with it. Now, some people love it. It's a challenge. They can switch, you know, just like that. I'm not that way. It may, it takes me a, a more effort. That fight right there took a lot out of me. Fortunately, um, I didn't have to go right into another fight. I just, you know, relaxed, got my energy back, uh, literally, <laughs> uh, also in game. And now 
I take uh, section three uh, in uh, section, I mean, section three. I take path three in section two. And this first fight is going to be against Colossus. He's a very popular defender on this node. Uh, we had one war where there was someone, I don't know what he was doing, but we got a lot of kills with our Colossus on this node. And he did have uh, Claire here. She is a great counter. Now, when I first encountered um, Colossus on this node, I had a Corvus I had brought in. And that fight could have went very, very differently. But because my Corvus was, you know, pretty beefy, I was running suicides, I was able to out damage um, that trap. All right. Um, but down he went. Claire just kept nullifying, even though there's a high chance for Mystics to fail. Doesn't matter. She just keeps on trying and trying and she gets those nullifications. All right. Now we are fighting Magneto and I was not about to take in Warlock or Omega Red against this Magneto. Um, if I can't get her, her uh, sorry, if I can't get him down with Claire, then I would have gone in with Omega Red. All right. So um, one of the things with the rework that makes him so annoying for me is the uh, fact that he goes unstoppable on his heavy. All right. But I figure I'm, you know, I'm doing good. I pushed him to a special two because I know I can evade the special two. I learned how to do that. All right. So see, I'm trying to get him to fire it. He won't fire it. I keep getting a parry. All right. So I know my timing is off for some reason, you know, because I'm trying to bait the, the special two out here. And then that happened. I looked up there and said, oh, my goodness. Almost got one hit. I was like, what was my health? I didn't even see my health. I saw a slither, uh, uh, you know, a sliver of red and then the adrenaline. And that was it. So that kind of uh, irritated me because I was planning to use Black Widow against this uh, man thing here. But I wasn't going to uh, do that now. Other people had options and there was no need for me to uh, use any items. All right, so that was all the fights that I had. This fight is from Apex Predator one of the biggest supporters of my channel. And he's gonna be fighting this apocalypse with Ghost. Now, I don't know if you guys saw it, but there's a void on the hazard shift node. Anytime there is any defender on that node, it makes this fight easier for Ghost. I want you to notice uh, how many times he's getting a fury. You know, how many times he's getting a fury up here. Uh, because it's alternating between poison and incinerate and ghost every time she dashes converts those to fury and he's running suicides he's also i, I believe he's running suicides and also he's uh boosted up so that makes this fight uh a, a lot easier than it would be normally uh, i used to watch uh some of the higher level wars uh, where they didn't place a defender there. And I was like, wow, why would you not place a defender there? Aren't you making it, you know, easier? Like a free, you know, um, you know, free uh, kill point, really, defender attack. But uh, I, I learned that having a defender there makes the boss food for Ghost. All right, so it was a sacrifice not to place someone there but it made the boss tougher and they got kills uh, that way, usually. That, that's the idea, okay? So, as you can see here, my boy Apex Predator is just chewing up this apocalypse. Uh-oh, in the corner. But he blocks it all, he's good. I saw him tap, tap, tap in that special three. I saw you. Uh, I do the same thing. So that's why I know what to look for. All right, so uh, her special three doesn't do a lot of damage. Um, you you 
want to do her special two uh, to get the big boy damage anyway. But uh, he's doing just fine here. Uh, like I said, I can't remember uh, who all he brought in. Uh, I'm trying to remember if he, he runs suicides. Um, I didn't notice. Let's see. Okay, no, I don't think he's going to fire the special two. There, there might be a reason. I, I'm not familiar enough. Uh, there might be a reason that he doesn't fire his special twos off. Um, it's probably because he might get caught in the middle of a special two with that incinerate or poison if you don't time it right. And then he's taking all that damage. Um, okay, and I see that he's not running uh, Hood synergy but he was running uh wasp okay um but he got the one shot all right so let's have a brief intermission and we'll be back and you'll see the results of this war and we're back and as you can see we won this war we are on a winning streak we've only lost one war the very first war of the season uh so if we continue we may actually have a chance to hit Platinum 3. Uh, we should be set for Platinum 4, but we may actually get Platinum 3. Uh, we'll know better after, you know, a few more wars. Uh, and if we continue to win, uh, leadership will let us know whether we're going to make a push for uh, Platinum 3, if it's even possible. All right, so that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.